Okay, so let's take a look at non-correlated subqueries in the WHERE clause. So you can see we have our example from the previous video. We have select ID start time from screenings, where film ID is in, select ID from films where length min is greater than 120. So we have our inner query, and then we have our outer query. So let's run this uh, subquery. And you can see it's returned ID and start time from the screenings table where the film ID is in this inner query. So the outer query has taken the results that were produced from the inner query and it's used them to select the ID and start time from the screenings table. So for non-correlated subqueries we can run the inner query independently. So let's do that now. So let's copy and paste this inner query and tidy it up a bit, so end with a semicolon. And let's select ID from films where length min is greater than 120. So this is our inner query in this subquery, and we're going to run it independently now. And you can see it returns all the IDs from the films table where length min is greater than 120. So the inner query has returned film ID 1, 3, 8 and 11. So the outer query, this select ID start time from screenings where film ID is in, is taking these results. So this subquery here is the same as running select ID start time from screenings where film ID is in 1, 3, 8 and 11. So when we run this subquery, we can see it's returned ID and start time from screenings where film ID is in 1, 3, 8 and 11. So this is what non-correlated subqueries do when you use them in the WHERE clause. And now let's write a subquery in the WHERE clause from scratch. So here we have two tables. We have select star from customers and select star from bookings. So let's select star from customers. And basically what I want to do is I want to return the first name, the last name and the email from the customers table but I want to return them where the screening ID from the bookings table is equal to one. So let's write our subquery for this. So on the next line you can write select first name, last name and email from customers and then you can say where ID, so the ID field in the customers table is in, and then we can write our inner query. So we want to select the customer ID from the bookings table. So select customer ID from bookings, and then we want to say where the screening ID is equal to one. So screening ID equal to one and then we can run this query. So we have our outer query and our inner query. So we can see these are the three customers that made a booking for screening ID one. So we have John Smith and his email address. We have Cherry Wang and we have Simon Davis. So again, let's run our inner query on its own. So without the outer query and with a semicolon. And you can see it returns three customer IDs, so 4, 12, and 16. So it returns three values for the select first name, last name, and email from customers where ID is in, 4, 12, and 16. So when we run the whole query together, we get the first name, the last name, and the email for customer ID 4, 12, and 16. And basically we can do this because here we've got the ID field in the customers table and we have the customer ID in the bookings table. And if you remember, the customer ID in the bookings table is a foreign key to the ID field in the customers table. So we can make the link between the two tables in this subquery. And it's the same for the film ID in the screenings table and the ID field in the films table. So the film ID in the screenings table is a foreign key to the ID field in the films table. So again, we can make this link and use a subquery to link the two tables. 
Okay, so that's it for non-correlated subqueries in the WHERE clause. Now let's take a look at non-correlated subqueries in the FROM.